So it looks like we know why the majority of the player base isn't going to hit level 100. Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope everybody's doing well. In this video, I just wanted to have a little chit chat about Diablo 4 because there's been some things I wanted to talk about and some questions that some buddies brought up that I really wanted to elaborate on a bit. Let's go already! So is this really the end game to Diablo 4? I now have a level 88 rogue and I've been playing the game nonstop and I finally got to sink my teeth into what is considered the end game. And to say the least, oh boy, what a bummer because the end game treadmill grind is absolutely real. So before we even continue, I just got to ask, are we like okay with this one strong pillar of, of end game content? Because there's got to be a lot of people out there that are not down with this. And I'm not too sure about back in the day. Is this something that was happening in Diablo 3 as well? Was this the only pillar of con that they had back then and you guys were just okay with that for like years on end? I could see how majority of the people won't hit 100, not because of a skill gap in difficulty, not because of the time that's needed to be invested to get to level 100, but just because people can't fucking be asked. I mean, I'm enjoying the hell out of this game <laughs> and sitting at level 88, I'm like, holy crap, this sucks. Please let me know how you feel about this whole scenario down in the comments. And really, was this how it was in D3? There's gotta be, there had to be another thing, right? Please tell me there was another thing. There's no way a game survived off of one pillar for this long. I don't know. This is something that really interests me because they had, what, like six years worth of development time put into this game. And when it comes to the end game, that shit just doesn't show. Obviously, we have Uber Lilith, which is something to look forward to. Great. Now, I do have to say the dungeons are beautiful. I think they're great at what they do. There's a good amount of variety. So it doesn't always feel the same. But the more I play the dungeons, I start not feeling that way. But they're good. The affixes in the dungeons are great, other than the specific ones that they took out because there were some slight problems. And I feel like it can keep me going for a very long time. But this can't be it, boys. This can't be the end all be all for Diablo. And I'm only saying this or making this video because I enjoy the game so much that I just want more shit to do. That's all I'm saying. But let me take you back to World of Warcraft. And I always like to compare it to WoW because well, I sunk like 12 years of my life to it. So in WoW, we have our three main pillars of content. Now four since Dragonflight released, right? We got our PVP. We have our Nightmare Dungeons, the Mythic Plus, as well as raiding. And now they added professions. Now with all of this content variety, you're able to take Mythic Plus, get some gear, up your damage, and bring that into Raid or PvP. Well, you used to bring it into PvP. If you go into PvP with Raid gear at this point, you're probably gonna get blown up. But for the sake of this video, you know what I'm saying? You're able to bring your character into different areas and then show off or compete with your boys about how much you've upgraded in different areas of the game. Then you can go back from Raiding and continue to up your character in Mythic Plus and restart a cycle it's like a fresh palette cleanser just different areas to increase your player power and gain different gear from different sections of the game and maybe it's because i grew up playing that game but i feel like that should be the standard i don't know how a game can possibly succeed with just one solid pillar of content as diablo 4 does but here's how i'm gonna go about it i'm probably gonna level to 100 one time i'm gonna go after the uber lilith one time and from there thank god like a hundred percent of the builds can be turned online by like level 70 because at that point i'm just gonna pretty much level to 70 and enjoy different build options and play through different classes and different builds around that level because i can barely be asked to go and level to level 100 and it's only because of the way they have it set up and by the way, if you're enjoying our little chit chat here today, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you're into this and interested in seeing more. I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks for hanging out. But moving on from that, this leads me into something my buddy asked me a few days back. He said, hey, how are you enjoying season one so far? And I said, it's okay. Pretty good. I just wasn't really in the mood to elaborate on how I really feel about it. But that's what I got you guys for, right? <laughs> So season one has been fun. It is a good time. It's giving a nice additive and a bit of a change up to some of the builds and classes. It gave us some new dungeons. Certainly nothing that's going to blow our socks off. But for what it is, I think it's decent. However, again, from level one 
to probably around level 50 or 60. You get to engage and collect your malignant hearts. You get to sift through what is good, what's a keeper, what's something to be salvaged. You get to encounter a new boss, Vashir, Vashar, something added to go do. Definitely appreciate that. But as soon as you hit that mid to late game, they slowly but surely start to disappear from existence. The only time that you're ever going to start interacting with these hearts is when you look in your stash and you're like, up. Oh, I guess I'm running out of the good ones. It's time to start going back to the malignant tunnels and farming the ones that I need again. On top of that, just for the record, I have no idea how to develop a game or what it takes to do so, but what development team would be okay with creating a new season, creating new dungeons, and not implementing that into our end game daily activities? Why is it okay that the new content is now obsolete once again by level 60 or 70? I don't understand what that is, where the logic behind that lies, but you put all this time and energy into a new system and you don't carry it over into the end game. Now, granted, yeah, you can go and farm 800 item level gear from the last boss in the malignant tunnels. That's great. But that's like all we get. How is this not included in the one strong pillar that they have to offer? And not for nothing, but I give World of Warcraft an excuse. And I understand why they have to cherry pick and choose which dungeons are going to be in the next season's Mythic Plus pool. They have other pillars to attend to. Why in this game are all of the dungeons not available as a nightmare dungeon? Not only that, the new content needs to be there as well. These malignant tunnels, they were made great. They reduced the backtracking, all this good stuff. Who cares? Some of us, most of us, I think, don't even get to enjoy that. It's left behind in the dust, not even to be thought about. So yeah, the season of malignant, it's pretty cool. And we didn't even mention the fact that it turns out to really be the season of the barber, which we don't even need to take that into consideration. Let's just put that thought to the side and just take it for what it is. Even with that not being the case, I think they need to do a better job with bringing that forward and applying their next season to the entire game. I don't think that's too much to ask for, and I think it's the right way to develop a game. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just letting you know what I enjoy and what I don't. How are you guys feeling about season one so far? Are you still enjoying it? Are you still partaking in the seasonal malignant tunnels? Please let me know down in the comments. Again, I'd love to talk about this stuff because it is a good game. And for those of you that are still with me, geez, I can't believe you're still with me. I'm so proud of you. But this leads me to my last point that I have to address. And I'm curious to see your thoughts on did season one start too soon? Because honestly, I really feel like it did. As a new player to the Diablo franchise, I had a lot to sink my teeth into. Now, I just want to jump in front of it and say, no, I'm not really advocating for less content. Maybe just a little bit more breathing room would be nice because I really feel like it came too quick. I had a full campaign I wanted to take my time through. I started leveling as a druid, so it was slow as shit anyways. I had to learn about the aspect system. I wanted to take in all the damage buckets and how I can improve my character's damage, all the talent tree abilities that we had to play with, the paragon board that I've never seen in my entire life. I really wanted to take my time and take it in and try to master these things. Well, they left you very little time, in my opinion, to do so. I was able to complete the campaign. I was able to dive into a lot of the new stuff that was offered and I was really enjoying myself. But before you know it, it was all gone. But I really don't like the fact that one, my original character is essentially no longer a thing. It felt like I wasted a lot of time, which isn't a great feeling at all. And maybe you guys are just used to this because you're used to like the 30 seasons that were in Diablo 3, but I'm not used to it. And I didn't like that feeling whatsoever. I wish there was a little bit more time in between this season and when the game actually began. Now, that's just my take. Please let me know how you feel. I'm really interested in that. And now my question to you is, are we losing our characters every time we walk into a new season? Is this how it always goes? I really hope not because that would drive me up the wall. And I think out of everything that would cause me to stop playing this game. I don't know about you, where I came from and the games that I've played, you build and spend a lot of time on these characters so that you have something to show, you, you give big dick damage and all the things, 
but I've never had a game where it was like, all right, you got two months or you got a month, enjoy it because you're gonna lose it. So please confirm for me that this isn't the way it works. Next season, am I gonna lose the character I'm holding on to dearly now? That would suck. Not too happy about that if that is the case. But anyways, I think that sums up this little chat for the day. I really just wanted to make this video because I am having a blast. They need to keep pushing on this game. I want more from it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns you have down below. And with all that being said, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take it easy, guys.